KZ has announced their brand new EDX S earphone. It's another dynamic driver earphone. Now, you know, I've been a huge fan of the original EDX. I really pushed that earphone. It sold a heck of a lot. I think that earphone was even more popular than the Blonde BLO3. The thing here is the fact that the, this particular new EDXS um, is going to be at least at least what the company is going to want you to understand now is that they want to improve a bit on the original. This one is thirteen dollars. The original EDX I think was around eight or nine dollars when it did come out. So this is slightly more expensive than that. But let's face it, these are very cheap earphones. Uh, they're very cheap earphones. I I was in love with the original EDX. I've always um I've always liked the EDX uh, till this day. Even even though I have very expensive earphones that I listen to, anytime I listen to the EDX, it puts a smile on my face. That it ten dollar earphone can impress you sonically it's very rare you see an earphone that was tuned right that that presents very good sound in, in a very good fashion for your listening experience that is exactly what you get with the original edx so this edx s is going to have something uh, similar you are getting a 10 millimeter high performance dynamic driver there is a silver plated cable that it's going to come with um the thing here is that the company did not try to specify the type of driver you're getting is it the same driver as the original or is there a different dynamic driver in here that maybe they retuned generally i just feel casey will only retune this earphone that's all because when you face it the original had a very I, I would say a bit of a bright sound, but it, with a, a fun uh, tuning to it. In, in terms of the fact that you have bass with that original EDX, it uh, the, the original white set itself, apart from mini budget sets, was the fact that it, it had a very good treble extension for the price, or at least for the little price it came in. It had a bit of sibilance, but you can expect that with with these sort of budget earphones. They, they will not uh, blow you away sound-wise um, for the money that you will end up paying for them, but they are good enough, especially if you just hook your earphone up to your smartphone. If you have an LG V-series phone or a G-series phone, you'll be good because there's a DAC inside that will handle uh, good transient sound to this sort of budget earphones. You don't need a high quality DAC uh, dongle to to be able to enjoy uh, your sound in general. So look, I do believe that if you want to enjoy whatever it is you are doing, um, you will obviously need to have. Um, you, you get very good earphone especially if you if you want to listen to to good music you just have to get earphones that are tuned very well uh you will have ear tips with this it's going to come with its own ear tips uh decent ear tips one thing with KZ is that they just apply i would say sometimes mediocre ear tips to 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 the earphones that they package and send out but I don't expect much with this set. If you buy it, you eventually have to change the, the cable, the way I say it. Some of these budget sets don't come with great cables. That's just my only gripe with some of these earphones. But other, overall, I think it's going to be a very good set that a lot of people will uh, take notice of and consider to get this in their collection. I'll drop details, uh, even where you can purchase it if you care about this new KZ EDX S earphone. Do subscribe to the channel, do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.